you just ain't drinking the end for me. You don't know. All right, so boom, we got Lucio. Because think about it. If it was in this game, you know that you know that shit would have wound up in a world of light. Oh, absolutely. You're right. And I finished World of Light over quarantine. But yeah, you're no, I didn't. I finished it before quarantine. Uh, but yeah, you were, you're right about that. But instead of, like, poking device, they have, like, just invisible spirits. Okay. Yeah, so PK Chris, you know, he just took it over John Numbers, me, Sword Fighter. But now he has to face against the Sword Fighter. Yeah. That's going to be Mr. E rocking the Lucina. A lot of faster disjoints. Oh, yeah. Ooh. But at the same time, so, like, Lucina's... If you were to compare Lucina, should I compare Lucina to a Mii Sword Fighter? Um, ah! No. <laughs> well, the, yeah, so the thing is that the hitboxes in general are much better, much faster, but a couple of those tools that were really good for uh, Mii Sword Fighter, like the fact that Uppy didn't have to worry about down smash, you know, Ooh. that he had a reflector, those are things that Mr. E doesn't have available to him, and he basically has to try and instead use those disjointed hitboxes as much as he can, those are going to have to carry him all the way. Yeah. And usually, like, Ness struggled against disjoints. Well, it's, like, traditional for Ness to struggle against disjoints. But in this game, it's kind of... It's kind of different, because Ness got... His hitboxes are just bigger. Like, it's the little, like, the little psychic strength around his hands. Yeah, like, Ness is... Not only has his hitboxes gotten bigger, but the fact that he has uh, his down B as this really cheeky air movement option... And means a hitbox that, on it, too. Yeah, and a hitbox. But also just the fact that he can use it to microspace around these, you know, sword hitboxes. Mm. That is true. Play like, always see Ness is moving. Um, oh, we are actually... We need to reset here. Uh, game one. This is actually... Yeah, this is game one. Yeah, game yeah. one. Game one. Don't get anything... Don't, don't think anything crazy, guys. Right, back up stage. Think it Chris goes. You're going to see Ned's guard? Yeah, that forward air just coming from the blast zone. As things stand right now for Mr. E, this is a bad spot, but not an unmanageable one. I like the idea of up being right into that uh, thunder, you know, sort of understanding that he's going to get hit by it anyway, so he might try and might as well try and get hit by it to give him the best chance he had at recovering after. Absolutely, he's doing the best. And this is so Lucina does have disjoints, but her hitbox is not very long lasting. No. And that's kind of the issue here. Like, Mystery just can't be swinging all the time because if he is, then PK Chris will find his way in between the hits. And once he does, it's so much damage he can do. Like, Lucina's longest, like, okay, so the aerial is what Lucina's gonna be throwing out the most, right? So the longest lasting aerial that was, that was, that was waiting to happen. He was delaying the inevitable. He was he could not get the reflector off off stage. Not reflector off the seal breaker. But um, I feel like we see his longest longest last aerial is there. But the air also doesn't cover as much space as like forward air, back air, or up air. So like you need to like be careful with the swings. These edge guards are great for him. So the jump. Counter? Oh, he's just gonna die. And just like that, we now have a completely even game here. You know, PK Chris was doing a lot of really good work. The thing is, um, Lucina, I do feel like, is one of those few characters that can relatively reliably edge guard Ness. At yeah. least edge guard him to death, you know? Not like, oh, nickel and dime him. No, like, she can go out there and she can actually kill him. Indeed, like, off stage versus Lucina, that's a scary thing. Scary thing. But Ness is kind of like, I guess it's kind of tricky with recovery. If he goes too low, the only thing you really have to worry about is counter. But that's a commitment that I don't think Mr. E wants to make. Excuse me. Doesn't want to commit to counter. He's rather just like play safe, like a forwarder or a down to Not down to like an air or something. Why would I? Yeah. He's at 114%. Uh, he's at death percent to a lot of things that uh, Ness can do. Uh-oh. Ooh! Trying to go for the pressure. What a good parry! Getting him out of the corner, but in just one moment, he's right back there again. No jump. He's forced to... Ooh! The oh, beautiful the delay! Yeah! Okay. Ledge attack, guys. If Ness is, and I just saw numbers, and numbers knows this was like, like I, I know he knows it was a mistake, but ledge attack has full invincibility until the hitbox comes out. So if Ness is just charging a smash attack in just, your face like that, just, just hit, hit the A button. Hit that A button, man. Hit the A button. Just do it. It's not that hard. But then again, I've been in that situation too. No, no, because oh, uh, no, because once you initiate the the hit, 
Um, no, once you press A, you get invincibility yeah. from whatever ledge option you pick. Yeah. Three, two, so from the getup attack, you get invincibility. Yeah, you get, invin you get invincibility. No, even if he drops down, as soon as he hits A, he would, uh, because he got, he neutral get up into it. Ooh, not falling up here with big damage. Trying to get to there, but it's not on the mark. Okay. So, it had, Mystery had a, such a better start in this game than in the last game. Oh, that was, I feel like he could have F-smashed that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That should be a counter. Yeah. 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 Exploded. And Mystery, I like the fact that he was recognizing DJ Chris was going for a lot of these delayed uh, sort of hits. Or, you know, like the, the delayed recoveries. And so instead he takes his time and just waits to react. And, well, I mean, once you counter, well, uh, you counter, yeah. mess up B. It's just, he explodes at like zero. It's, it's, kind, of, it's like, kind of like a, a Semtex bomb. Or it's like it's kind of like a timer waiting for it to go off, you know? As soon as that counter clicks, the next connects. Bye bye. No more PK boy. Oh. Oh. That's PK. Ah, I can't stop. Mr. E seems to be in a lot better position than he was in the last game right now. Had it been, I mean, I'm saying that as he's on the, on the ledge, trying to, you know, fight for his life to get back on stage. Yeah. Right there, I think he went for ledge jump to buffer his option. Ah. And, oh, I think he. Reacted a little bit slowly. I think he maybe could have upped it a little bit earlier to make it back, but I mean, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, that grab not landing really big for Mr. E. It means that he didn't get caught up in one of those terrible nest combos. So nice job, but Mr. E. I saw him angling his shield there, prevent himself from getting steel poked by Ness up by Ness back air. That was super smart. Ooh, the parry on, this, on the down you don't see that too often. Wonderful tech. And now Missy is back on stage, not giving PK Chris a chance to play the game. And now he is swinging, swinging for the fences, throwing out all of these moves and still being able to punish PK Chris. That back is killing from the middle of the stage. Back into the move, but he sees that. I just some, I'm sorry, there's something about that grab. No, just fluid like water how he was. Bruce Lee would be proud of that grab that Mr. E just got. Immediately came down and it smashed him up. Also, briefly worth mentioning, both these guys are Long Island. So Long Island's He's gonna have- Island? Yeah. I always thought, thought, thought he was in a suit. No, he just ah. goes to Zeno a lot. Okay. Or he used to. <laughs> Is that the back row? Yeah. I tried to get some magnet cheese to get back on the ledge, but it's just, he's not happy. He's not letting him get by. So I I feel like he knows that PK Chris is going to jump off the ledge every single time, but he just doesn't know, like, what is he going to come up with? Like, is he going to come up with a forward air, a magnet, he, a double jump, he gets fire? Like, what what option do I cover? Like, there's so many things that's going to do to get away from this, get away from the sword scot free. That was smart. Oh, this could be really big here. Cover once again at the ledge. Nice. Actually goes for the trump. It's not enough to actually do the deed though. And a forward air keeping him off of him. PK Cristo forced to recover once again. Just a delayed air dodge. But look at this. He's still trapped in the corner. Still struggling to land. Mr. E throwing out each one of these hits would be so devastating. Probably would mean death if they connect. But PK Chris is keeping them <laughs> himself alive. Even if by only a thread. He's doing the deed. Oh man, another forward air, not enough to actually kill. But, oh, he's forced to recover low. Mr. E maybe could have gone for a counter, but instead wants to play it safe. Up throw, not going to kill just yet, yet, but. A little more percent on that. <laughs> and there it is, yeah, finally. You get Chris not finding a spot to land there. I won. What happened to my back? You know, I had the water bottle you gave me, and I don't know where I put it. All right, we now have things tied up. One, one between these two players. And it's, you could see sort of what happened in that game was 
Mr. E got the edge guard that he was looking for. And it even did, like, all he needed was he got it once. And then he didn't even overextend after that. Not at all. This one, this one, for him. Oh my god, he might be dead. He's still left low and he's gone! And there it is. That's the one edge guard he needed and Mr. E can kind of play it patient. Play it safe for the rest of this game and there is honestly, if he manages to do that, he's probably just going to take it. It's so, getting in a big, big play like that and at the beginning of the game, oh, it is a pace set. It really is. He said, we're going to play this game at this speed, this way. And you're gonna and you're just gonna accept it. Speaking of Chris, nice little read. <laughs> he just not gonna he's not gonna push. He's not gonna push his advantage any longer. He didn't, he, I mean he didn't need to. Are we dead? Ooh! <laughs> he knew! He knew that he needed to go for a double on me! And that, I'm that is experience. Who's a grand quit? Uh, that is experience. Nice, nice edge guard. Uh, Chris putting something on the board now. But this is a complete, clean stock lead for Mr. E. I mean, I, you, you say that, but it's like, okay, I understand, like, you know, the air dodge mix ups right there, but why doesn't he just down throw get the get the confirmed damage? Uh, does he have confirmed damage against Lucina, though, on those attacks? Ah, uh, down throw fair? I'm pretty sure that's, it, that doesn't work I, on everybody. I, we, it might be something worth checking. I know that, like, they, they can't, I think it kind of can be inconsistent. I gotta ask for that after the set. After the set. Oh, oh, that should be it, yeah. yeah. The same thing we saw last Ooh, time. Oh my god, that was such a dominating game. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have been lied to by myself. Yeah. Oh, yep. good looking, good looking. Okay, I didn't know that. But, um, this. <laughs> oh, y'all can't get, y'all gotta pick the music when you go to a battle. You gotta hold these stages. Cause I'm getting this and I'm, I'm, I'm upset. What? Do you, do you not like this music? It's just that... It's not that I don't like the music, it's just that when there's better songs available, especially in this tense situation, go for it, you know what I mean? Like how Chris is going for the edge guard, you gotta go for the good tunes. Oh, oh. I don't know if he has a chance to land. Man, look at these guys, they're just like... This game is scrambling in a way that lasts I <laughs> honestly, the last three games have not been. And not, it's like, Mr. he got comfortable. He got com like in a more comfortable position in the matchup. Because like, I got to adjust to how Pinky Chris is like throwing out all these bugs and stuff like that. Look at that, their coverage. That down there was so smart. Oh, back throw is going to be big, but not enough to actually close out the stock just yet. Uh, disadvantage against Ness. Doesn't matter what character you are, it's never fun. Why did that hit? Woo. Why did that down so hit when he was in the sky? Nice catch! Man, look at this. How does things stand now? Mr. E needs to find a way to end the stock. He does! That soon as you speak! Sheesh! Alright, he's in the air dodge down the ground. Doesn't want to deal with... Doesn't want to deal with landing slowly versus Ness. I feel like if, um... If Lucina was... Like, Lucina being floaty... Lanny versus Ness is also just like really, really hard. Ness can just PK Thunder. Ness surprisingly quick too. Like, at least the way Chris moves with Ness. Ooh. Ooh. That's so whack. Oh, nah. That was smart for me. I like, I'm saying that's whack, but that was like. I don't. That's like a combination of like me being smart and just really Chris being unlucky. And with that stock lead, with Mr. E playing a lot more patiently, landing yeah, on these platforms. He doesn't, doesn't need to really approach. He's like, you gotta wait for Chris to like come in and do something reckless. Oh, like that. That dead. was so. That was. Wow! 
Okay, I couldn't speak right there, but Chris, wonderful coverage, putting himself back into play. I mean, I think that that DI was a little. That was that was a. I, was, I don't want this stock anyway. <laughs> more like more like I wasn't ready for this. Huh? Definitely caught him slipping that. What? That has to be that stack? Wait, just be, he hit him before the third hit came out. That's that, that, I've never seen that. I mean, that timing for that must be insanely strict. That's what I'm surprised about. <laughs> e, oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, we just should have took that fair. And now we have an even game. Chris can take this game. Chris has the versus Ness. Oh, he has to be so careful. One thing that Mr. E hasn't really done is just throw out like a raw smash attack. F smash in particular. No way! What? Oh! We had the kill the server right there! He has to recover. Super TV is threatening him. That's a low recovery there. If he gets this counter, I'm not sure what just happened, but okay, P and Chris is back on the ledge now. One crap could and do it. And that does it. Oh, he was holding backwards. He was not expecting to get hit, and that was it. Mr. 